morning guys so guys the reason why this camera is on right now is because i'm taking charge of my life and it's crazy the moment you say that things start to play out for example i gave my car to this guy but ultimately i'm pumped to start my day off and my car is not here he did not bring it on time so i have to call these guys now to come and fetch me we're gonna go get my car but the whole point of today is i want to show you that i'm taking charge of my life i have self-sabotaged myself so many times and i want to show you guys what this actually is and i want to show you how you overcome something like this and secondly the power of saying no i'm tired of borrowing my stuff out and trying to help people and then they leave me stranded <laughs> Explain, sir. <laughs> Three days later. What's happening, guys? It is uh, attempt number two. The day I decide to come and I want to take control of my life. I've been in a stuck system for a while. Um, a place where I actually started losing doubt in my leadership and uh, I started thinking that I needed to put this leadership on other people and they would do a better job than me and now it's a year later and I'm so frustrated to the top point where I am taking control and so what actually happened uh, three days back was uh, I decided you know tell the team we're gonna shoot this vlog and what actually happened was Kyle ended up being late and then what started happening was we, we started shooting the first two hours went good and then all of a sudden I just started having negativity around me. I started having people fighting with me. I started having so much business problems that uh, I ended up shutting off the cameras and the guys ended up going home and I never got the vlog. And then yesterday, me and Run got into like a, a few arguments. Like um, he started off in the morning and he just started telling me that my shows are going down and I need to be consistent. I'm being inconsistent again and all of these sort of things. Um, not knowing fully my side, but ultimately just coming in hard and then coming in really hard And it got to a point where I started getting upset and I'm like I started fighting back and I'm like But you're on holiday now. You're not consistent either And you know what I mean? I, I started like really fighting back and it started to ignite this fire in me Where it was just like you have to really get pissed off in life to say like fuck it Like I'm gonna take this actual shift and what happened was we ended up arguing for three four hours then we ended up doing a show together, which ended up being a really good show. And then it ended up in a phone call after with him telling me that, Sheldon, you asked me to mentor you. And I'm sorry at times I, I can't come across really hard, but just know it's coming from a place that I want you to succeed. Sheldon, I want you to succeed. And I'm gonna tell you the truth if you don't like it. And what it did is that, that roller coaster yesterday of being angry and then being understandable and starting to be like, okay, this is my moment. This is my time to shine. So today we're doing something different. Today we're walking into band, so the first thing I will do every single time is I'm gonna uprise the energy. I'm gonna get everyone pumped up. That's what you need to be. Reason being is, if you want light in your life, you need to be the light. I just want, I want good energy, I want, I want a vibe, which means I need to create that first, because uh, the world's quite sad outside my little bubble, so I wanna be the light. Secondly, I wanna go pump myself up, so usually before the shows, I'll be in this good energy when I get to work, and then something will happen. Someone will fight with me or uh, uh, something's gonna come and attempt to slow down my motivation. Uh, and any time that you know, I start to get these triggers where like, I, I start to get demotivated and start to lose focus of what I wanted to achieve for the day, I'm just gonna do something different. So uh, quickly come, I wanna brief, I wanna be early for my show, get everything briefed. You can see no one's here at the moment. Sheldon the sniper is the first one at the office, as you can see. <laughs> Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, bro. Where's the office? Oh, I'm shit. <laughs> Girls actually laugh. See, I, I, I've had my few hours break. It's the first time I'm actually opening up the charts. And it is now nine o'clock in the morning. I checked in, I did my trades last night, I set it in, and uh, now it's nine o'clock. Now I do have to jump on and be like, am I making money? And uh, at the moment we're making a little bit of money. We're a couple of hundred dollars up. Uh, I'm building positions that I think we can hold for a good period of time. So guys, I've become quite selfish. And the reason why I've become selfish 
It's because if I look after myself, I'm going to look after you guys very much. So uh, I'm very much, when I open these charts, I'm actually looking at it for me. Like how am I going to make money today? Uh, what am I going to do with my portfolios today? And once I've made that decision, I can start being at, okay, cool. Now, how can I show the community? So just always put yourself first. I know it makes you feel bad. You think you've got to put others first. Don't. Because by you putting yourself first, um, all of a sudden you're happier. You looked after. Therefore, you're automatically better to everyone in your life. Very important. Bro, like we, we had such a crazy point in the market where it's just like really irritating. It's not breaking 32,000 and it's not breaking 30,000. Like, just like, and I'm not being a bear. I'm not being a bear, but if you're going to destroy us, just destroy us already, please. Like, you're taking too long and you're making us uh, go nuts. But as things stand, we still have a bullish scenario. And then I think we're about to hit a run, guys. You know, I went through two years of bear market with this, this audience. Um, and uh, I can't wait to finish this chapter in my life because there will be an end at some point. Uh, with the big ass bull run that we ride from the bottom. When I joined Banter, I was halfway. I came to Banter Bitcoin as forty thousand dollars. You know, I came halfway through the bull market. This time, I get to ride it from the bottom. Like, just trying to recover. That's the whole thing. Like, you're just consistently trying to recover. It's a fuck up. Yeah, I can't believe. So, what did what did you get? Thirty two thousand yesterday. That's, that's, and I, and I'm like that's like a 40%. Oh my jeez. Yeah, I was on 55. I was on 55 before. And nothing changed. Bro, is that, is like the audience that sensitive to like having a life now and yeah. then? <laughs> but, uh, once I get used to it, I'm telling you, daily is daily. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's why I told you, that's why I get upset with you when you, don't, when you like go live, you don't go live. Because you're basically fighting this battle your whole life, basically. Like, you just fight every day. It's fuck up. So you can see, uh, I, I, I love run to bits, but he, like, he did take numbers very personal. Like, uh, he was getting 55,000 views like three days ago, and then he got 32,000 yesterday because you missed one day. So it's crazy how if you're not consistent and you miss out one show or you just ruin rhythm, people don't watch the shows. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite, like, it's understandable because it's day, people's daily routines, but it's also like, it's, it sucks we can't like have a life or like go to your brother's wedding or like do anything because you lose all the views. And he, what he spoke about yesterday was actually true, is we literally work our asses off, right? And we will build momentum and I'll build to 40, 50,000 views per show. And then I'll take one day off and I'll go back to 30,000. And then I'll work the next three weeks just to get back to my 50,000. So I'm not even getting new viewers. I'm not even getting like new growth. I got to keep fighting back for what I lost just by the one or two days that I took off. It's a, it's a tough game. So yesterday we had CPI come out and end of the day, we beat the expectations. 3.1 was the expectation. We came in at three. So overall, this was bullish news within the market, but we know how they like to manipulate on the shorter timeframes. So you, you need one or two thousand X gems, you know, something that can we put in a little bit of money because you maybe you're going to put a, a lot of your money in the safer tokens, mm -hmm. which is this is good. You've got a really good diversification here, but you do want your, your little lottery tickets. So what I basically did was I took the, the head of school, the guys that are helping the school, I sat them down. And I said, uh, I understand this product. I understand what, what type of community we're building. And this is how we need to do it. And uh, what I decided to do is to take leadership of my own school, which is crazy. Like the fact that I haven't done it, again, self-sabotage, being afraid of it, um, not maybe believing that I'm the right person. But the day I start taking charge, people listen, they appreciate it. They're smiling outside, they, they, they're happy. And all of a sudden we're starting to uplift the energy again. Um, so now we're gonna go hit meditation. Uh, I'm going to try call Run because I want to talk to him because again, this guy's on holiday and I'm here busy working. It's not even going through, so it means his phone's obviously off. And you know what's funny, guys, and Run's going to see this and uh, I might get into, I wouldn't say trouble within the staff, but uh, look how no one's here. <laughs> when Run's on holiday and he's doing stuff, empty, 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 empty. This guy must come back. <laughs> Cool guys, now we're gonna go and uh, go look at a beautiful view. It's time to meditate a little bit and uh, I wanna go home and uh, 
Uh, I want to be present with the family. So you always got to have like a little trigger every day when you're on your way home so that you don't bring your, your work energy and vibe into the house. So if you had a bad day at work, you got to have something that breaks that. So for me, it's stopping and looking at the ocean and meditating for like 10, 15 minutes, just once a day on my way home. Um, and therefore I can be present and happy when I get home and whatever happened in the day, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, but while I am on the way on my drive, I'm busy doing a mindset course on Mind Valley. Um, so guys, what's really cool about Mind Valley is we actually discovered it um, a while back and it's got so many different courses in different categories. So what I really like about this is every week I'm finding like a new place that I need to focus on within myself. So like one week it may be my emotions, one may be my work ethic, one will be my leadership and that's one that I'm busy with right now. Uh, I'm busy looking at, uh, well I'm busy listening to a a leadership uh, program at the moment um, and uh, you got to always work on something you know every week something different that you're tweaking uh, it doesn't have to always be the same thing so mind valley is a place that has many different incredible courses so if you go below uh, you can sign up with mind valley and uh, go look at all their courses and at any time you're struggling with something in your life go find something that you relate with and uh, when you're driving we spend so much time in cars guys put it on on the radio instead of listening to music you're allowed to listen to a couple minutes of music but in that time Put on podcasts, put on courses, put on stuff that you can take in information uh, so that in your spare time you're actually upgrading your knowledge. Uh, music is also a drug, same as uh, alcohol, same as anything. So stop that stuff and start putting stuff into your mind. Go below, click the link and sign up and uh, start your journey to building that brain. To really illustrate the difference between management and leadership. So guys thank you for watching hit the like hit the subscribe button remember we have sniper school below and we have mind valley below uh, if you want education in all different formats in your life go below and join uh, and uh, start this journey with me a uh, big thing of the day is to change something every day um, if you change something you get a different result um, and uh, just keep improving yourself and uh, be kind on yourself show yourself lots of love and uh, i'll see you guys all in the next uh, video